protesting outside. Um, right now, we gonna go around and talk to all the students. And yeah, God. Hey guys. Why would you not pee? You knew he was protesting. Okay, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Go in there. Go to Walmart. Side. How you feel about what's going on right now? I'm basically the MLK of this shit. Oh, okay, okay. You can't put that on okay. YouTube. Right? Classic. Go get her demonetized. I don't give a fuck. Ah! How you feel about this? Listen, man. You got lame ass niggas. You got bitch ass niggas. You got whole ass niggas. Okay, all right. People out here, uh -huh. none of that. All right, right, right. right. So right. Stay out here. Yeah, we stay. Ass niggas stay inside. Oh, and bitch ass niggas. Simple yes, as that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Tell me, so how you feel? What? Uh -huh. You ain't out here. You dead. Nigga, oh. you, you in there? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Pussy. Like. Oh, okay. All right. There's some whole ass niggas. Oh. They probably gonna get police brutality or some shit because they don't they ain't not able to stand up for themselves, my nigga. But if you are here, you real ass niggas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Niggas don't know their rights nowadays. Niggas oh, okay. I'm trying to teach these niggas. I was a preacher for three damn years. Uh huh. Yeah. Preacher for three damn years. Yes. I'm not really. Thank you, Jesus. Grown up, nigga. You ain't. You, really you play too much. You said shit. You ain't said niggas shit. Not, niggas not really active like us. They not. Don't take my shit. We want our rights back. Hold on. And we gonna get our rights back. It's our phone. We pay for don't it. Don't snap him. Take it from us. Sam, where you going? Look at him. He trying to. Everybody put your feet. Where you going? Hey, Sam, where you going? No, listen. Why do you have more feet? He trying to get you. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. Right, right, right. We got that Malcolm X, that MLK. We will not break. We won't break. As much as they try to offer us Chick Fil A, yeah.
Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I got the I got the bank card. We go into the store. You stupid dirty whore. <laughs> Walmart. 
Stupid ass. Yeah. Can we hear love? Tell me what, what to do. I'm damn near a rapper. Okay, this heel fucking up my ankles. I stand for the people with the people just on this side. Somebody take the stick. Jump the gate. Break some. <laughs> Come on, here we go, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. We out. Stupid ass. Oh, that's the cuss word. Stupid. What? No, they got to catch up. You are the best. Yeah. So they can catch up. So while we out here and we getting to know each other, my name is Shakaya. I want to go to Walmart. Oh. Oh. I thought. I thought we were getting to know each other. What are no. we saying? No more fucking left. Be like, we back, big man. We back, big We mad. We back, bitch. Now we mad. We back, big man. If you inside, you sad. We back, we mad. <laughs> we back, bitch. Everybody know what y'all saying. Say, we, we not going to say y'all don't want to cuss. We want phones. We want phones. We want phones. This light ass shit. We want phones. We want phones. We want phones. What? 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 We want phones. We won't vote! We won't vote! We won't I got vote. work later. I can't vote. God damn, my nigga. Yeah. We finna get it. We finna get it. Take this car. Hey, somebody get the 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 car. Hey, they got, I knew that. Yeah, we serious. One more lap. One more lap. Hey, you all take a picture on Link Car. You all get on Link Car. Oh, shit, we going back in? Put me in there. We gonna be on the news. <laughs> the news. Let me go tell somebody open the back door for me. I bet you if we said we was going to the store. Okay, you are. Anyways, we back where we started. Quiet as mouse. You. We need like 10 minutes. We need a break. Hell yeah. I'm gonna take a break. First lap, I just want to say, um, my voice box is kind of hurt. So I don't think. Yeah. We really bought our little protest. I sorry. think Walmart would help. That's what I'm saying. Walmart will help. I'll go with you though. Okay, all right. That's what I'm saying. Okay, we should put this up right now. We should tell Artie about what it sounds like lunchtime because we can go get snacks and shit and sit out here for lunch. If we get them in there, bitch. That'd make them mad. That'd make them mad. Right, so, uh, okay, no, bitch, I didn't order wrong because it is I'm sweating. Uh, wow, that's just wild. Uh, my little bun, I off of me. This shit is too hot. I'm, I'm gonna go with them, but um, y'all not gonna walk. No, 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 Shit, we're asking people that don't wait a minute. Walmart stay here. Because we're actually here. Y'all look, look. We is. We're going to make it at least three round trips to Walmart. Shit, it's other stores. I got money. And I get paid tomorrow, man. Man. Look at my, look at, listen to my damn voice. I need a little tea. This shit's still fucked up. I can't use the word wobbling out there. So y'all want to turn it off. We're walking to the Walmart. That's right. Yeah, that's right here. Um, so far, we've been pretty good. There's been some, you know, some calls made. Uh, no one gives a police. I'm just going to say that right now. 
detain me. Um, just don't mace me. I don't. I don't. Okay. You're at the daycare. No, girl, they got them oil chains. Oh, the oil chains. No, the oil chains. got the in her hand. Smoky. Damn, 11? Fuck only. It go boost mobile. Oh my god, give me a charge. I'm out of town, thinking with my rounds. My Yo, Brown, what a nigga. I'm looking for the play, nigga. Come suck up. Mary, we is not a threat. Hey man, I'm gonna come back to y'all when we get in Walmart. Hey, it is a family dollar over here. It is? It's an Audi's over here. What happened? Basically, he said he was gonna let us in. But everybody said, we can. Ain't no going inside from here. I did crack y'all. <laughs> Blue, red crack. Come on. It's raining. Oh my granny, I need to like three drops. I got three jackets in this bitch. We probably could make it there before. You see me? Everybody under this. They go, that's he for the court. As soon as it starts raining, he's gonna call the police. No bullshit. So we finna go to McDonald's. We did go to Walmart. I just need to charge her, so that's all I got and we left. Soon as I get home, I'm gonna come back to y'all. Alright, we're gonna go to McDonald's. Yeah, we're gonna go to McDonald's. Alright, we're gonna go to McDonald's. Alright, we're gonna go to McDonald's. Soon as I get to this um thing, I'm gonna call my ride and I'm gonna go home. Huh. Um, Yo, we protesting because I, I told y'all a while already. But um once again we're taking as a joke and we're being not listened to. They don't ever hear us out. No matter what it is, how serious it is, we done lost a good four students at this school and they've only acknowledged one. That was two drops on my head. Like y'all just okay, at this point. Y'all don't know, huh? I don't want to go in there. That's the point. Go in. Sneaking in there is like it, you want to be in there, but you don't want to be by them. Like no, I don't if they there. see you, they gonna know. Oh, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. seeing us. They know. Especially us. Yeah, uh, it's damn near raining. Come on, for it start raining real bad. So we could lose get some shelter while we while go to something to eat. Well, they can make you say mine. Me, I'm gonna watch I don't wanna hear shit. And I don't wanna hear my mom and my mission and talk about some shit. She's in Walmart running around. I got a car. Yeah, Wendy's. Um, yeah. I got a Mickey bag. I got some fries. Strawberry Sprite. <laughs> And nuggets and a burger. I want to get some good joke. And then I'm going home. I'm going to give y'all a whole story time when I get home because it's more to the story and it's more to happen. And I want to make sure y'all know like, the reason. I'm gonna eat my food and then I'll come back to y'all. Um, I am at home. I did just wake up. If y'all can't tell, I'm finna go swim my mom, but I feel like I could come on here and tell y'all what happened this morning and why it happened. Um, Kobe is kind of throwing a fit right now, so yeah. Um, so our school 
if y'all don't know, I got a Milwaukee accent. Um, and our school has been treating us poorly for years. Um, yeah, we get things like little trips and stuff, but our trip is something that they owe to us. So I had no choice but to go on there because my mother had paid for me to go to Tennessee with them just for them to take our money and not let us go. So Washington, D.C. was something that we had already done as a school um, and paid to do around, I think that was in seventh grade. And I'm in 10th grade now going to Washington, D.C. again. And we literally did everything that we did the first time again. Our school is basically losing money. They don't have enough money to pay for certain things like buses um, or even the funding of our building. So we will no longer be in the building that we're in now. I lost my voice, y'all. I was young. Um, we will no longer be in the building that we're in now. Next year, we'll be in our old building. Uh, we do have a middle school and a high school. I go to the high school. The middle school is like down the street from my house. But um, we'll be back in that building um, upstairs. And we won't have any buses anymore. Um, and yeah. Over the years, we have lost a lot of great teachers. And it wasn't because of us. It's simply because of the school. The school has been failing ever since we lost our first principal. Um, we lost our principal due to his poor actions. However, he was an amazing principal. But things happen. So ever since he left, we've had a good six new principals that all came and left. All said that they wouldn't leave. All still left. We had a good 20 teachers alternate through our building. Um, coming in, teaching, leaving. Whether it was because the behavior of the students, the actions of the staff, the pay, um, the poor treatment. Because a lot of their staff members don't know how to treat their teachers at all. I've seen... Um, one of the staff members completely come into our classroom and disrespect the teacher and us have to say something to him because it was so rude and so obnoxious. Like this is a grown woman and you just came into her classroom and got on her about attendance. Ridiculous. So, um, yeah, our school has been failing for a minute now. Um, and it sucks that it's taken us so long to do this, but hey, at least it's being done, you know? Then, um, our school lunches are terrible. And I know it's not something that they can control, but we were able to order food at a point. Now it is, oh, if you order food, we gonna take it. Then it turned into, if you order food or have your parent bring food, you have to wait outside and eat your food. And I feel like they don't understand the severity of having your student go outside or sit in a vehicle with someone and then come back into the building. Midday are um, metal detectors. I'm gonna speak about that pretty soon, but our metal detectors are shut off. So whatever this student comes back in the building with, you would you would know because they're not being checked again they're just coming into the building that's sick are so worried then it turned into we did lose a student um like i said it did i don't know if i told y'all but we've lost a good four students at our school all to gun violence um well no majority to gun violence one of them she had um she didn't die from gun violence. That's all I'm going to say because I don't really want to speak on the behalf of someone else's family member and I'm not knowing the actual details. So, um, it was like they did, they did their thing for him as they should have. But it's like you went all out for him when you could have went all out for all of them. 
But then they say things like, oh, well, it was during virtual and there wasn't nothing we can do and this, this and that. And then when I ask for us to put up a memorial for all of them, not just the boy, for all of the students, something that the school can showcase forever. It's like, oh, it has to be put through this and we have to make sure it's okay. And, but y'all already have a case for this boy. And our school is shady. Like they do things like they'll keep something up for a week and then take it down. This is something you're not going to ever take down. They have showcases in our building. In the other building, they still have showcases. I don't know why they do things like act like we're slow and we don't know what's going on. We pay attention to what goes on in this school. So after I spoke to him about it, he's like, oh, okay, well, I'll talk to my um, team lead and we'll figure out what we can do. Never reached back to me. I spoke to the other staff that he said he was talking to, and he said that they like my idea. They felt like this is something they can do. He never got back to me. So I don't know if he's just procrastinating. This is not something that he wants to do at all. But this, I feel like he should have just told me this from the beginning. You know? And so um, the next thing that came about was metal detectors. They brought metal detectors um, to make sure we weren't smoke. We wasn't smoking in the building. Smoking as in like doing things like vapes and stuff like that. Um, as teenagers, they still find a way to get past it. I mean, it's a high school. It's going to happen. So, oh, my eyes are so red. Um, so, they did things like, well, I ain't going to say what they did, but. They got past it. And they've been getting past it. But it's like, y'all try to regulate the little things. And I know y'all probably like, oh, well, smoking is a huge thing. And da, 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 da. But I'm going to tell you what else goes on inside of our school building and what they don't talk about. Um, um, smoking was one thing they tried to regulate. Then it was phone. After they tried to snatch phones from us, it was like the deadline for everybody. Because it's like, you're trying to take my phone, but you got your students doing outrageous things in your building. And now you're probably thinking like, what's outrageous? Your outrageous might not be as outrageous as everybody else or something they can act upon. Yes, it is. Your students do cocaine in the bathroom. And you worried about my phone? I am a 3.0 student. For the most part, I'm always at school. I have 19 credits as of now that is in the system. When they update all of my stuff, I'll be ending off junior year with 23 credits. 23 and a quarter, that is. So I am no, my phone is not a distraction to nothing. My phone has never been a distraction to nothing. According to the records, I shouldn't be in your topic or your stereotype of this school. So, um, then he says, oh, well, if you don't give your phone up, you're getting suspended. Nobody cares about getting suspended at all. I look rough, but y'all listen, hey, I've been stressing. I've been stressing, but, um. He like, oh, well, la, 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 um, you're getting suspended and it can lead to this and it can lead to that. I don't care about getting suspended. Now, let me tell you how I got in trouble. I had a meeting with one of the staff members during my lunch yesterday. Um, what, Yesterday is when they started taking the phones. I had a meeting with her and I was texting a customer off of my watch. And I thought we was cool. I thought we was vibing enough. For me to take my phone out and text my customer. I took my phone out. She went like this. I said, oh, no, I talked to Mr. Lean. I talked to Mr. Lean. I talked to Mr. Lean. She like, um, okay. She grabbed her phone, boom, 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 got to texting. I told her I didn't feel good. I really didn't feel good. Yo, I've been on my period. I've been feeling nauseous. I feel nauseous now. Um, So I told her, like, oh, I'm going home, like. 
Miss Celine know that. Like, you, you don't know. You don't know, baby D. Like, you don't know, baby D. You don't know. That's why you're looking at me, because you don't know, baby D. <laughs> so, uh, um, she like, okay. She texts him, y'all. He texts back, like, negative. I never talked to her. So, I'm like, freak. Like, mm. But it's okay. Like, I ain't, I ain't tripping. Like, I can live without my phone. So, most of the day, I was sleeping anyway. So, it's like, hey. She like, give me your phone. Now, another thing is, they'll take our phones midday and lose it. I've had it happen to me before. So, I told her, no, I'm okay. I walk my phone to him. She like, okay. Uh, can you take your food with you? I'm like, yeah. I grabbed a little lunch. Um, we walked to Mr. Link. I gave him the phone. He like, why you tell me you ain't had no phone in the middle of the day? I said, uh, because I ain't have it. You know, I be, I be lying. I, hey, man, say, man, listen. So, he like, why you ain't tell me that you uh, had it in the first place? Why you ain't just turn it in? I said, because I'm going home. I don't feel good, which I was going to go home because I did not feel good at all. I felt terrible. Like, huh. so, um, yeah, let me lay back. So, um, yeah, he took my phone. Now, my last class is dance class. I go to dance class, dance class, get over with, and they come in the cafeteria. The cafeteria is where we dance at. Y'all, our school's so broke. Ugh. Ugh. Pat the face. Ugh. So, um, they come to the lunchroom with the little boxes that our phone is in. This is my sister, bitch. Y'all don't mind the hats and stuff. She... Oh, that's my work shirt, and that's her other phone. And yeah, so um, they come in the cafeteria with everybody's phone, and I see Mr. Link with a stack full of phones. Our the other staff members gonna say, "Shakai, why are you coming over here?" I said, "Cause they got my phone." He trying to be funny, like you're not funny, dog. Like stop talking to me. So then um, Mr. Link, like, oh, I don't have your phone. It's in the lo the office. I'm pissed off of that, like. Why would you put my phone in the office and you know I need it back from you? Why would you put my phone in the office when you know I was going to come back for it? So I'm like, I'm pissed. I give it a good 30 minutes after that. I go looking for him. He like, I told you your phone is in the office. I said, that's fine. I'm going to walk with you to go get my phone. He like, okay, you just going to have to walk around the building. I said, that's fine. Now, I was fine with walking around the building until he told me where my phone was. And then we walked past that exact location. We walked past the location. And I'm like, where are you going? Now I'm yelling at him. Where are you going? Because I'm on my period and bleeding and I'm hurting. And it's, it's, I can't. Like, it's bothering me. And I just want to go home. And I'm already in jogging pants from dance class. Dance class. I didn't want to change you would know why, but I didn't want to change, but it's like, I need that grade. So I had to suck up my pride and just get this shit over with. Um, he like, uh, no, he didn't even say nothing to me while I asked him where he going. He goes to a classroom. You all, he get the joking with the teacher and the student. Talking about, Is they done? They like, yeah. They like, should I give them their phones? They're like, yeah. Then they got to talk about how they were saying the N-word and all of this and all of that. So now I'm pissed. And I'm like, you joking with them? Give me my phone. Like, you. He turned around. He like, Shakaya, why are you yelling at me? Like, that's exactly how he said. Why are you yelling at me? Like, you was sad. So I'm like, we walk clean past the office just so you can come over here and joke with them. Give me my phone. He like. I'm going to give it to you. You you got to calm down. I said, no, because we just walked past the office. I already told you I don't feel good. And you still doing this. Like, bro, what? He like, oh, Shikaya, you got to calm down. I'm not going to give you anything. I'm going to make you wait. I said, I'm waiting regardless. Give me my phone. He like, oh. Now you got to wait even more. We go in the office. He tell me to wait right there. So now I'm cussing because I'm mad. I'm like, I don't get no fuck. Like, Y'all doing too much. You gonna take my phone and not give me my shit. Got me walking all the way around the building just for you can lollygag. Give me my shit. Like you wasting time. Now, mind you, we got out of school at 320. It's 317. He's talking about you gonna have to wait for it. How the fuck long am I waiting? Because I guarantee I ain't leaving no building without no shit that I paid for. Be happy I gave you that shit. Because I don't even get down like that. But just to, you know, 
respect your rules. I said, oh, okay, that's cool. Here you go. Left it at that. Because I can live without my shit. I got a tablet. I got a watch. I, you're not hurting shit. I still got other devices. I pat the face. Like, huh, it's giving donut. Anyways, so he goes to his office. And then he tells one of the staff members, can you all tell Shakaya to come here? So I'm like, what do we want to talk about? You should be coming out here to hand me my phone. There's nothing to talk about right now. So I, I'm i pissed. Like, I'm mad at everyone. Once I'm mad, anybody that gets in my way is a problem to me. So I go to the back. I'm like, where is he at? He point. I go in there. I look at him. He said, can you sit down? I said, no, I'll stand. He like, can you please sit down? I said, no, I'm good. That's exactly what I did. He said, I don't, I'm not standing over you yelling at you. Can you? I said, I don't care. He said, um, why are you yelling and stuff like what? Well, this is not like you. You're not a troubled kid. I was never a troubled kid, but that's because I never spoke my mind to them. They've never taken it this far with me. He said, what's the problem? I said, you walked past the office. You could have went in the office, gave me my phone, and let me go about my day. I'm not in my school clothes. I have to work after this. I don't feel good. And you have me walking around the building. I was fine with walking to other, you know, areas. Because he had to drop those cases off, those cases of phones that he had, right? It's only one phone that you had to hand to me. And you took forever to give me that one phone. Then you walked past the area which the phone was in just so you could go joke with some kids. Wasn't shit funny. At all. Sorry. He like, oh, well, if you don't turn it in tomorrow, you're going to get suspended. I said, I don't care. That's fine. That's fine. Gave my phone. I woke the fuck out. And I still was cussing because stop fucking playing. With, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Your phone's a distraction. A distraction to who? You know what's the problem? The shit that we should be talking about. How they, they teachers don't put in grades worth shit at all. Don't ever put in grades. You could do a shitload of work and they still not put your shit in. That shit is pathetic. It gets it. It gets me tight. Thinking about it. Because it's like, y'all waste my time so much, folks. Then it's like, I got enough credits as a junior to go on to the next grade. Shit, you need 24 to graduate. I got 23. Up out this bitch. Like, bro. Then it's like, I'm going to school for no reason at this point. And then it's like, the one credit that I need is for math. And y'all know that, but y'all not giving me a math class. Y'all give me shit like music and dance. Fuck I'm gonna do with that. Yeah, uh, I've been buying chargers from Walmart. I think I'm done with that because ain't now one of these bitches worked. Mm -mm. I'm gonna take a shower really quickly and then I'm gonna come back to y'all. That work. But I um, can't really speak because of the music. So I'm just in my video off here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos. And we out.